Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Students from today's welcome back to our second part uh, of the lesson, Akhlaq. This time we will discuss on how to appreciate. We said in the previous lesson that you use your tongue to do good things. Among the good things you're supposed to do is to appreciate. And appreciation starts from the words you utter. Now, to appreciate means to value what someone has done uh, to you. Someone can assist you, he can give you favors, even if those favors or the, the assistance you get is your right. Sometimes even right can be denied. Just respect that someone has respected your rights. Now what do you do in this case? One example, okay, let's, our subhanahu wa ta'ala created human beings with a lot of needs. Besides, if you're not on an island, you can't live alone. You will always require assistance from someone or from something that God has created so that you can be able to satisfy your needs or your requirements. He also created uh, so many uh, things that are for the service of a man. For example, the trees. The trees can give you a shade. Trees can give you fruits. Don't take that one for granted. All the time, show appreciation. How will you enjoy it? Take care of the trees. Take care of the environment. It's your role, it's your duty. The rivers flow. They always provide you water for irrigation. They give you, uh, you also use water for domestic purposes. Taking shower, cooking, washing utensils, cloth, and so on and so forth. That is a favor that God has given unto you. Now, the day God has given the day for you to work. During the day, you run up and down. Now, just imagine if this uh, program, this program run throughout, there is no night for you to rest. You you work throughout. How will you be? You become sick. Your body will suffer. But out of this mercy, God divided the hours. We have the uh, the daytime for you to work, and we have the time at night for you to, to rest. Although in some minor, in some circumstances, not always, we have some people who will work at night. But it's not a common uh, problem. It, it, these are special uh, duties like doctors, uh, watchmen, policemen, and so on and so forth. These ones can work at night. But it's not a common, not a common problem. That is therefore very important that a human being is supposed to thank Allah for this. These are bounties that God has given us. You have to be very, very thankful uh, to Him. Uh, in the Surah of Ibrahim, as uh, the seventh verse, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Wa inta adam al bukum la ishakantum la azidan nakum." That God, you remember that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for want, God tells us. That la uh, ishakartu. If you thank Allah, if you become grateful on what He has done for you, then God will add more. He will bless you more. But if you don't, if you become ungrateful, then be aware that Allah's punishment will be terrible. 